Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. General reading will not resonate with every Scorpio person out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Scorpio placement that you may have in your chart. If the reading does not resonate, feel free to check out any of the other 11 videos. There may be messages there. All my contact information as well as the link to the romance specific reading is in the description box. And we're going to jump right in for my Scorpios. Fourth week of July, in and around. Time is not linear. We're all on different timelines. This could have already happened, maybe happening now, or may happen in the future. Scorpio, what do we have? One card out. More messages for Scorpio, please. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. Scorpio. I'm also going to pull some oracle cards for you at the end from the Moonology deck, the Animal Oracle, as well as the Work Your Light, just to give you some more guidance for the week. Three more cards for Scorpio. This is just for their greatest and highest good. Lots of air sign energy for you this week, Scorpio, so far. Definitely could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you're just very much in your mind right now. Or someone around you is definitely very much logical. Mind over matter. Mind over everything. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we are looking at the Four of Swords. Taking a break, are we? Someone is resting, taking a break. Could be not hearing from this person, or this person's not hearing from you, or whoever is withdrawn a bit. But this person is healing, they're meditating, they're praying, and uh, they definitely have something on their mind here. Their mind is on one particular thing, represented by that sword by his side, and all the rest are hung up. He's really focused on that one sword, that one thought, that one particular carbobble that he can't seem to wrap his mind around, right? That's why this person is withdrawn, because they they need to connect or just take a break, right? This could also be recovery from surgery. So if some of you are having surgery or have had, definitely going to be taking time and resting up and healing, healing quite nicely. Or some of you need to. In your past position, we are coming in with Page of Swords and the Four of Wands, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, spying, watching, researching energy here. This could be you or someone that you are connected to, but someone is definitely doing their research. They're, find, they're trying to find out something in particular, maybe, definitely, because it kind of looks like the same sword that the Four of Wands, the Four of Swords has by his side, right? So there's something in particular that you are either trying to find out more information on, watching, kind of observing, or someone is definitely watching and observing you. Four of Wands here, some sort of home situation, definitely. Or um, this is usually celebration of a milestone, you know, like receptions, graduations, weddings, engagement, taking your relationship to the next level. Maybe there is someone around you that you're speaking to in your energy, maybe. Maybe you're not speaking to this person, especially with the Four of Swords. Y'all could definitely be on a break, but they're watching, you're watching, and um, definitely wanting to reunite and celebrate here. If someone's wanting something stable. Four of Wands is something stable, and you have two fours. Four, four could definitely be significant for you for 44. But um, let's move into your present. Presently, we have more air sign energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Ace of Cups. The letter M or W could be significant for you, but someone is very, very logical here. Kind of too logical, maybe a little bit cold and detached, but someone has come into some clarity. They're very clear, and as much as this is a very detached, kind of logical sort of person, not really warm and fuzzy, coming in with the Ace of Cups, definitely lots of emotion here beneath the surface is what I'm feeling, right? Someone definitely sees an opportunity for something that's very emotionally fulfilling. Someone's heart is overflowing. They're feeling a sense of openness in their emotions, represented by that water. And they're become, becoming very clear about this. Maybe all that watching that they're doing, right? All that watching that they're doing, it's only be, it's only make, making them become more clear. The, the clarity just keeps piling in, right? And I think the clarity is that there's a lot more emotions here that, than, than someone is letting on. Whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, I am definitely getting this as some sort of relationship, romantic. Um, definitely could be a family member or friend but um, that you're not speaking to. But someone maybe you're not quite in too much communication with is definitely all up in their head. And the more they're in their head and the more they, what they watch and the more they research and observe, 
it, it's like the conclusion becomes more clear and clear with all this air sign energy okay as logical as they're trying to be the truth remains is four of wands ace of cups someone is wanting to take this to the next level because they're absolutely emotionally fulfilled by this this definitely fills their heart space and seeing something stable right wanting something stable that is also what the clarity could be about in your future position we're coming in with the ace of wands and the devil card uh, major arcana capricorn energy could definitely be dealing with the capricorn but very passionate energy right y'all know what that looks like i don't need to tell you very passionate energy and with this devil card ooh, someone is very 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 magnetically attached to you they're envisioning dirty things all these sort of things right it's kind of energy i get off of this so this is kind of what's going on whoever this air sign is whether this is you or the person you're dealing with i definitely feel this is some sort someone with either heavy air in their chart an air sign or they're just in this energy you're trying to be logical but i don't think it's working the logics of it is not working. This is very passionate, fiery energy. And although the devil is usually perceived as something negative, it also could be very sexual energy as well. Someone is definitely feeling a deep, deep connection, bond, you know, sexual connection, emotional connection, seeing definitely something stable here, right? Definitely seeing something stable here. This could also represent attachment. I mean, obsession, right? being obsessed so it's like on the surface it seems very calm and collective like i don't give a shit but down below yeah man the truth is <laughs> this is what's probably this person's thinking about another four at the bottom four of pentacles definitely this person is not expressing if this is an air sign or it's not an air sign this person is definitely not expressing the levels to the shit okay because there's levels to this shit and with this devil here and all this positive solid energy around it there's levels to this person's love affection attraction want for the situation okay and we did have the queen of cups at the bottom of the four of swords so absolutely you're open and receptive to this i definitely think this could be you coming in or whoever is kind of waiting for this four of swords moment to be over right because look how big her cup is capricorn um your energy definitely um cancer spicy scorpio energy right very open ready to give the cup but it has to be worth it someone needs to come out of this energy let's get some oracles in here for you scorpio fourth week of july okay i'll do that again scorpio messages for their greatest and highest good to get lots of cards i'll take two it's way too many okay <laughs> definitely a romantic relationship for most of you otter spirit you are never alone look how in love these two are like aren't they just so in love right <laughs> so definitely someone is if someone is feeling kind of left out in the cold because this is very cold energy here but this is you or the other person you both could kind of be cold with each other but someone is more cold than the other right someone is definitely feeling that detachment that that separation but i don't think it's going to be that way for much longer with this being here like being the cornerstone of this new passionate beginning this new emotional beginning and the stability it's only a matter of time that it becomes in harmony and fox spirit 27 8 9 which is a 9 time think on your feet very strategic energy here very yeah strategic strategic that is what i'm getting so i don't know if someone if needs to be strategic the queen of the king of swords is definitely someone that's strategic they don't cut unnecessarily right measure a hundred times cut once definitely could be the energy that you're dealing with if this is the energy you're needing to be in because we did see that four of swords so someone is definitely trying to figure some things out especially in all this air energy maybe there's a home situation involved could be yours could be outside of the situation definitely some sort of home situation but look at all this red and green sacral chakra sacral chakra and root chakra energy in these two parts right that's that ace of wands and that ace of cups root chakra sacral chakra let's get you moonology for scorpio what do i need to know scorpio how many too many getting so many 
meditate and contemplate. That is the Four of Swords right there, double confirmation. So the both of you could actually be doing the same thing, very mirroring energy. Pisces energy as well could be significant. New moon in Pisces, definitely the new moon could be a time reference. Maybe this will happen around a new moon. Some of you, Pisces could be significant, but two, four of swords, energy, meditate and contemplate. This is all about meditating and contemplating and taking time to do that. So either you you need to do that or this is the current state of it right now. So it's absolutely a purpose for that if that is the case. The energy is gaining momentum. Absolutely. It's the pause, the calm before the storm type of energy. Whatever this break is, whatever this meditating and contemplating is, the clarity is going to come from this. And the realization will be had. Right? The energy is gaining momentum. And our kill light for Scorpio. Star seed, what lights you up? Question. Ask yourself. I think some I think this is also the realization that somebody's coming to. They're realizing what lights them up, and I think it's another person. Either that they want to have a home situation in, or they have one that they need to get rid of. But definitely someone lights somebody up. And they're going to be ready to express that soon, okay? That is your reading for you, Scorpio. I hope it resonates. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week. Mm -hmm.